This video is going to cover the topic of subtracting integers, chip model. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of the page. The essential question to guide us this video is how do we use the chip model to subtract integers? And as you know, the chip model is a great tool for visualizing what is happening when we are adding both positive and negative values. And so now we're going to apply it to subtracting. There are four different combinations of numbers that we're going to use here, so let's look at the first one. And that's just a basic how to subtract a positive from a positive, something we all know how to do already, but we're just going to see it with our chip model. So let's see something like 6 minus 4, right? A really basic number sentence. So with my chip model, I would start with six black chips, and if I want to subtract, that means I'm trying to take away, right? which means if I want to subtract four positives, I would need to take away four black chips. And I, on this model, it's hard to take away, so I'm just going to X them out. So I would take away one, two, three, four black chips, and I would be left with two, which are black, which means my answer is a positive two, right? Which, of course, we knew, but we just want to see it with this model. Let's try the second combination we might see. So here we're going to try to subtract a negative from a negative. So my example problem here is negative nine, excuse me, minus a negative four. So I'm going to need my red chips for this to represent negatives. So I have my nine red chips, right? And I again am taking away. So that's constantly what I'm thinking about, right? I'm taking away four negative chips. So I want to remove four red chips, and I'm just going to use X's to mark that, so I'm going to take that one away, take away, take away, take away. I'm left with one, two, three, four, five red chips, which means it's a negative five. So negative nine minus negative four is actually a negative five. Let's do one more of that combination, a negative from a negative. And let's subtract negative 8 minus negative 2. And again, I'll get my chips ready here. I have my 8 red chips to represent my negative 8. I take away, remove 2 of them. I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chips that are red. So it is a negative 6. Okay, so negative 8 minus negative 2 is a negative 6. Those two examples, positive from positive or negative from negative, are the most straightforward. The next two get a little tricky. Let's look at how to subtract a positive from a negative. So my number sentence so far reads negative 7 minus a positive 5. So I'm starting with negative 7. I'm supposed to take away a positive 5. I'm going to start as usual, which means I need to put down 7 red chips. But then my job is to take away five positives, right? And normally that would mean I would take away five black chips, but I don't see any here. Which leads me to the question, how can I take away five black chips when there are none? Well, we need to get some black chips on here to be, to be able to take them away. The problem, of course, is that I can't just add stuff on here because that would change the value of the model. The only thing I could add to this would be zero, right? Adding zero doesn't change the value. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some zero pairs to our model that won't change the value of what we're looking at. So here I've added one positive and one negative to my model. It does not change the value because of course together they just make zero. So I've just stuck a zero on here. Now, I still don't have enough chips to take away. I just have one black chip. So I'm going to add another, and another, and another, and another. I'm going to stop here because now, looking at the model, I see that I finally have five black chips that I can take away, right? And that's our goal, to take away five. So let's do that. So I'm going to take away this one, and this one, and this one, this one, and this one. And once I've taken that away, what's left on my board? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 red or negative chips. 
So negative 7 minus a positive 5 is a negative 12. Our negative got further down the number line. We're now at a negative 12. And we could, of course, do many more examples of this in our lesson here today, but we're going to save um, our practice time for class, right? So just make sure you have that. And we're going to try the fourth combination. The last combination is how we subtract a negative from a positive. So here's our situation. 1 minus a negative 3. And again, I'm going to start as usual, which means I need to put down one black chip. And of course the next step would be that I would want to take away three negatives. So once again I find myself asking how can I take away three red chips when there are none? Somehow we need red chips but I can't just throw red chips on here, right? That'll change the value of what I'm looking at. So I need to make sure I'm adding zero which means once again I'm going to add some zero pairs until I have enough red chips to remove what I need to take off, in this case three red chips. So here I've added a zero pair, right? one black and one red. I'm just adding zero, I'm not changing the value, this board still shows positive one as a total. Here's another zero pair, and here's another. I now have three red chips that I can remove, right? I could take this one off. I can take a second one and a third red chip off, which means I have one, two, three, four black chips. So I can put a little positive here to be clear, but I have four black chips left. So the answer must be that one minus negative three is a positive four. Now it might see count, seem counterintuitive that to subtract negatives from positives and positives from negatives, we have to add chips to our model. But the big thing is that we can add zero pairs when we need to, to be able to have what we need to remove or subtract from our model. So again, the essential question was how do we use the chip model to subtract integers? And we are going to certainly practice this a bunch in class, and it'll be useful to have chips in front of us that we can actually hold and move. But just consider this a preview. So be sure to come with these notes to class and any questions that you might already have about this modeling.